Hi, Arthur Grouse here. Welcome to this how-to video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can integrate Power BI with SharePoint Online. If you want to create a dashboard in Power BI, you need to take five steps. The first step is collecting all the data that you need in your dashboard, like data from the internet, data from a SQL Server table, data from Excel sheets, CSV files, or like we're going to do in this demo, take some data from SharePoint Online. The next step is creating a model. In this model, you're going to relate the tables that you imported in step one and create relationships. The other thing you're going to do in step two is create formulas using DEX to create calculations like sum, average, and count. The next step is creating a nice dashboard with the Power BI desktop. And if you have a nice looking dashboard created, share it with your colleagues in step four, where you're going to publish the report to the Power BI cloud service. And then in step five, you can consume the dashboard using the Power BI app, or like we're going to do in this demo, you can insert the dashboard in SharePoint Online. Let's get started with step one. I created a list in SharePoint Online in which I have uh, collected all my stock portfolio. For example, I have stocks in ASML Heineke Royal Dutch Shell with a quantity and a historic price that I paid at the moment that I bought the stocks. I want to combine this information in the dashboard with the real life stock quotes. In step one in Power BI, I'm going to import these two sets of data and in step two, I'm going to create a relationship between those two, these two tables. Let's switch over to Power BI Desktop. I'm going to start with the SharePoint list, so I click on the ribbon Get the Data. The SharePoint data is not here in this menu immediately, so I click on the More button. And if I scroll down, I'll find here the SharePoint Online list. That's what I'm going to use. Connect. I'm going to paste in the URL that the list resides in. Okay. Now here we see a table of contents of this SharePoint site. And I also see the portfolio stocks list. I'm going to click it. And here you see all the data and all the columns that is in this SharePoint list. I'm not using all these columns, so I'm click on the edit button to make some changes. And don't need all these technical columns, so I'm going to select all the columns up to a content type ID with the shift pressed right mouse click and here I can remove the columns. There I have my title, quantity, historic price, that's what I need. And all these other columns I'm also going to remove. Remove columns. For now this is uh, what I need. I'm going to close and apply. Now I'm going to get the stock, the live stock quotes from internet. I'm going to choose get data. And here I can choose the web to get some data directly from an internet page. I'm going to copy the URL of the site. Copy. And I'm going to paste it in here. What Power BI does, it looks at the internet page and tries to determine if there are some data on the page. And it has found five tables. If I click on table zero, it's not what I need. It's an email address and a password. If I click on table one, that's the thing I need. I need to have the stock with the quotes, but there are also some extra columns that I don't need. And this column uh, has some data I want to strip off. The 06 January is not what I need. So I'm going to click on edit. And I'm entering the Power Query editor again. The columns I don't need, I can just move them like I did before with the shift button, right mouse, and then remove columns. And this column, I want to split it with the right mouse click. 
I can use the split column transformation and I'm going to split by a delimiter. In this case, I want to split by a space and I only want to use the leftmost delimiter. Everything after the leftmost space I want to remove. Okay. So now I get two columns and the last column I can remove. And now I can rename these columns as I like. Quotes. And I can save, uh, close and apply. I can well also want to rename this table. So I can do that here. These are the live, the, the stock quotes. Step one is now finished. I've imported the data that I need. Now is the second step is to create a model. I can do this by clicking on the relationships button. So here we are at the relationships panel. I want to create a relationship between these two tables. So I'm going to have to look for columns that are the same. For example, here I have the title column and the other table has the instruments, which means the, the, the stock I'm looking at. These two columns, I can drag them to, to each other. And now I create a relationship. In this case, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship, meaning if I have in one, my portfolio a stock with a certain title, it's unique in my portfolio, and it also has one stock quote on the internet. If, for example, I would be looking to add historic prices, and I would get historic quotes from the internet, then it would be a one-to-many relationship, because I would have a quote for each day or each month. Okay, let's create a dashboard, and let's go to step three. In this case, I'm going to choose a table visualization. So I can click on here. And now I can drag fields from both tables onto this table. Let's start with the title. And I also want to see the quantity. And I want to see the quote. What you see now is that I've got a lot of quotes with no title. The title is empty because I don't have this quote in my portfolio, so it cannot find a title for it. I don't want to see these uh, stocks, so I'm going to filter them out. I can do this with the visual level filters. I can click on the quantity. I can select all of them and then deselect the blank. So it is not blank. So now I only get my portfolio quotes. I also want to see the historic price. The next thing I want to do is do a, a simple calculation. I also want to see how much I made. For example, with Heineken, the historic price was 80 and now it's at 77. So I made a loss. If you look at ASML, it was historic price that I bought it at 50 and now it's at 114. So I made a profit. I can do this with DEX formulas. If I go to the portfolio stock with the right mouse click, I can create a new column. For example, profits equals, I'm going to use the quantity at times, and I want to look up the current quote, and I want to subtract from that the historic price. But the current quote is not in this table, so I have to look it up in the other table. That's where you use the related function for. So I can take related, and then I can look up, for example, the quote. And then I'm going to subtract from that the historic price. And 
And this profit column, I can also drag it on the table. It's not so good to see, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. That's where I can use this uh, formatting uh, button for. Here under general, I can increase the text size. Now it's better readable. And the other thing I want to do is make some nice coloring. So if I have make a profit, then it, I want to make it green. If I make a loss, then I want to make it red. And I also want to have a subtotal. For example, on the profit, I want to use the summarization sum. So here I see my total profit. And I can also here with the right mouse bit, button, I can use conditional formatting to create some colors. I'm going to use numbers here. For example, if it's lower than minus 1, I want to give it the color red. And if it's bigger than plus one, and we're going to give it the color green. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add the title and then I'm finished with this dashboard. I can click here text box and here I can create my stock dashboard. Okay, now I'm, I finished my dashboard and I want to publish it to the Power BI cloud service. That's step four. And then I want to embed it into SharePoint. I can press this button, publish. Yes, I want to save it. Here I can choose a workspace. A workspace is an, an environment in Power BI where you can work together with other people. In this case, I use Power BI Academy. And I'm going to click on this link to show the dashboards. And this is how it looks like in the Power BI cloud service. If I want to embed this dashboard into SharePoint, I can take the whole URL and I can copy it. Now I'll go back to SharePoint. For example, here on this dashboard demo page, I want to insert my stock dashboard. I can edit the page with the edit button. This is a new modern page that I created. And on this new modern pages, we can add the Power BI web part. I can click on this plus button. And if I scroll down, you'll see here the Power BI preview web part. And I can click on add report. 
then I can then I can paste in here the Power BI report link that I copied just now. And here you see our stock dashboard inside of SharePoint. I click on save and close. And we have our stock dashboard embedded in the SharePoint online modern page. Thank you for watching this how-to video. Hope to see you again.